it just complements the, 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 the pork meat and it's super tender guys so ah, you all need to try it you all need to try What is up guys? So I'll be traveling to Manila, Philippines and it's my first time in like two years. Can't wait to go back and enjoy the food, meet family, do some shopping. This is going to be my first travel vlog as well and I'm excited about that. This time around I'm going to be there for about a week. I'm going to try to fit in so much into that one week guys. Alright so I'm going to take you guys to some of the best Filipino restaurants and take you guys for some lechon. Alright so I'll see you guys in Manila. Yes, we've arrived finally in Manila. I'm so hungry and I can't wait to have something to eat. Yo, what is up guys? Uh, we're, we're gonna check out some of the best Philippine restaurants here in Manila. Must visit, I mean, there's so much here in Manila, so much to visit, there's so many amazing restaurants, but I'm gonna try to cut it down for you guys into a few. Uh, one of those restaurants is Mesa. They've got a few branches, and one being, the one where we're at at the moment is at Robinson's Magnolia, right? So we're about to check out Mesa and see what they've got to offer in terms of um, modern contemporary style Filipino food. All right, first up, we're trying this. No, about that. Tinapa All right, so we're trying this tinapa roll. Served as an entree. So tinapa is smoked fish. I'm not exactly sure what type of fish tinapa is, but it's smoked and it's got so much umami. You all know your boy loves umami. Hashtag we love umami. Mmm, a crispy fried wrapper, oh my gosh, filling, so much flavor. It's a good start. Alright, so I'm here at Mesa with my cousins, Anthony and Antoinette over there. Um, yes, we're having all this pork, all this fatty, rich food, and your boy's gonna look after his diet, yeah? So, <laughs> like cook. Alright, so we have this Sinigang Bung's belly right here. It's a must. You need to get Sinigang when you visit a Filipino restaurant. And we have Lying, which is some um, tar taro leaves. No? I think, I think it's taro leaves, yeah. Cooked two ways. And then you've got a crispy part of boneless, guys. Wow. Look how crisp that is. Full pork leg. Twice cooked. Deep fried at the end. Get the crispiness. What? Sisi grass. And that's chicken, chicken, chicken binacol. Binacol. Uh, chicken binacol, which is um, it's kind of like tinola, isn't it? Tinola with uh, instead of using water, uh, they use buko juice. Let <laughs> <laughs> <Like> me explain. <laughs> Alright, so they use buko juice instead of water, and uh, when they braise the chicken, so you've got you gotta you have this um, coconut juice broth instead of just water to create the broth. Oh my god, look at those squid, cooked in olive oil, almost like a Spanish tapas sort of thing going on there. There's some, I can see some garlic, there's some bay leaves, and it smells so nice, it's so aromatic guys, oh! So it's a Sinigang Bangus belly that uses, instead of tamarind, it uses um, guava, so you get this um, 
it's got more of a bold, it's got more of a bold flavor to it compared to um, tamarind. It's a bit of sour, it's a bit of bold, a bit of sweetness. Mm, man, it's so good. And having the lime too, I don't know if you can see it. There's a lime. Mm. Creamy, gingery, a bit of garlic in there. Then you get some um, squid. And one of the must things you need to try when you're in Manila and you're in the Philippines is crispy, crispy pata. Most places do amazing crispy pata, but. And boneless. You don't have to struggle. The struggle is the crunch of bones. You don't get that here. It's boneless. Alright, so right now I'm about to try the um, binacol. Binacol, it's a, uh, it's a form of tinola that originates from. There you go. It originates from Iloilo. Um, it tastes exactly like tinola except that you get some sweetness from um, the buko juice because they use buko juice for bracing the chicken instead of water. So um, it's, you know, it's a bit garlicky, it's a bit gingery. You got some chicken in there. Mm. To be honest, I prefer this more than your um, usual tinola. Manam in BGC is one of the most popular modern Filipino restaurants in Manila. The name Manam comes from the Tagalog word Malinamnam, which means delicious. The restaurant has a nice Scandinavian style space, which I really love. We tried their perfectly cooked and smoky grilled pusit or squid. We also ordered a double kong kong and green mango ensalada for some hashtag healthy vibes. The braised chicken and pork adobo was so tender. It had garlicky, sweet, sour, and umami notes. Their bulalo or bone marrow kansi was also excellent. The broth is similar to the sinigang sour broth, but kansi uses green jackfruit. The crispy sisig is the best sisig I've had to date. Love the sizzling caramelized pork shakes and the flavors and the textures in it. I love their modern style crispy pancit palabok which comes with crispy rice noodles, thick shrimp sauce, crispy chicharron, soft boiled egg, garlic, spring onions, prawns, and squid. Ubinka is basically Filipino smoked pancakes from rice flour and Manam's special version has salted egg and grated coconut. It's super fluffy and amazing. Their kesong puti or white cheese and mango turon kind of reminds me of baklava but with a Filipino twist. Love the touch of vanilla ice cream in it. Fam, so we're inside Rico's Lechon right now and I can't wait. I ordered a quarter lechon, quarter kilo lechon. I ordered um, some snigang bakat bagway, bakat beef. In Tagalog and um, Baboy is like um, pork. Got that lechon, that crackling, and that meat. Oh my god. Check out that crackling. Look at that tile crackling. This is what I love about lechon, like the way the crackling turns out at the end. It um like the the surface just becomes like all shiny and like a tile. Mm. Mm. So I'm about to have some of that lechon meat. Mm. You don't even need sauce for it. You know the sour side now, sauce is for the chum. You don't even need it for request with chum. It's so tasty. You can you can taste the all the herbs and all, all the garlic and all the like this whatever stuffing they use for the lechon really comes through the meat. A tiny bit smoky and it's just all these bold flavors. It just complements the, 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 the pork meat and it's super tender guys. So, uh, you all need to try you all need to try Rico's lechon. Oh. So lechon and senegang are two of my top favorite Filipino dishes classic and I love sinigang because um, it's got all the vegetables there and it normally comes with meat uh, your pork your beef there's even the seafood variety but um, there's it's sour and there's like all this umami coming through as well got some there oh wow like the 
bold, sour, umami. It can be an acquired taste for some people. This is the sour part of the tamarind, but it's really nice. Hi fam, so we're here at our next stop at Lokavor. So Lokavor is kind of like, uh, like Manam where it's a contemporary Filipino style restaurant. Um, so you, got, you get classics with a twist. Pretty much most of the restaurants that's going to be in this video will be like that. Will be like the contemporary style Filipino restaurants. Um, and Lokavor, um, from what I've heard, is amazing. So, so far we've ordered um, boneless lechon belly. We've got a sizzling sinigang, which I've never had in my life. Oh my god! Like it's always been the classic tamarind soup sinigang. And then we've also ordered um, boneless fried chicken, which apparently is one of the specialties here. Um, so first up, we'll start with um, it's gonna be lechon. I love lechon, guys. My favorite Filipino food. Sometimes it changes. Sometimes it's um, sinigang. We got crackling. Put all that fat. Mm. Mm. And that's crazy good. Buttery. All that umami. A tad um, salty. But it works with balance. it out with all the other sweetness. Peppery. Right, I'm trying the, um, the crispy um, sizzling sinigang now. I use beef. I'm probably using pork, but I use beef. Mm, yum. Now I can taste like the tamarind and that gravy, that sauce. That's the sinigang that I know. The, the, the beef is so tender. It's crazy tender. Try and make smallest fried chicken out. Mm. Wow. Yes, it does remind me of Korean fried chicken, but it's got like some Filipino flavors in there. The meat is so juicy. Yeah, I, I recommend it. I totally recommend this place. All right, guys, so we're here at Cafe Juanita, our next stop. Another must-try Filipino restaurant when you're here in Manila, just in Pasig Capitolio area. All right, so we're gonna go into Cafe Juanita and we're gonna check it out. Right, guys, so we're inside Cafe Juanita's right now. Man, the setup is amazing. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's a bit Southeast Asian. It's a bit Spanish -y. Look at that. All right, when visiting the Philippines, y'all need to try the London juice. Cheers. Oh, wow. As you can see, I'm sampling some of it. The fish, it's like, it's like little nuggets. Mm. That fish is so fresh. And then some sisi. Wow. Creaminess of the mayo. Get some savory flavors in there. A bit of that chili, there's some onions. A bit of citrus. Tiny bit peppery. You know, texture from the um, different parts of the um so it's a combination, I think of some pork belly and mainly the pig's face. I'm trying the kare kare, which is your oxtail, braised oxtail dish in peanut sauce. Oh nice. Here's some baboong or shrimp paste. Thank you. Salama. I forgot to mention that the fish I've been having and I'm about to have again is um, lapu lapu with tamarind sauce. It's also the sinigang salmon belly. Oh wow! It tastes all the all the herbs, all the, the tamarind, and I love okra and the salmon. Now we're trying some of that catfish, mango salad. More kare kare. Mm. 
Holy crap, that meat is so tender. I, look at that crispy pata crackling, guys. Oh, looks, looks perfection. Mm. That's like the one dessert that I cannot forget while I'm here in Manila. And that's Halo Halo. Oh yeah, that's so good. All right guys, last but not least, we're here at one of my favorite Philippine restaurants, my favorite Philippine restaurant, Sarsa, by Chef James Anglo. Oh, <laughs> Starting with my absolute favorite here, which is their um, sizzling kansi. So kansi is um, bone marrow beef in sour broth, kind of like sinigang. Rather than a sour broth, you get this gravy, a sour gravy. It's just full of umami, quite buttery. And it comes with this really buttery bone marrow I'm about to have. Mm. Beef is so tender, watery, you sound. About some of that chicken intestine. Don't get scared, guys. Don't knock it till you try it. Chicken in it, so good. Mmm, mmm. So much umami. Love the ham rice. Crusting crisp in it. And for the first time, I'm trying here Sinigang fried chicken. And it's got that gravy too now. Oh, hot damn, damn, that is freaking amazing, guys. Love the crisp coating. I can taste the Simiyang um, inspiration behind it. Sour, tamarind flavors. Oh, wow. Juicy meat, crisp coating. Wow. Crispy chicharam bulaklak dinagon, which is not your typical um, dinagon. Dinagon normally has. Um, some pork meat, um, some liver, but in this case, this is like an innovative new version of chicharron, of, of dinuguan. So it's like fried, crispy pork innards. I think it's interesting. Um, hit me up in the comments down below exactly what part chicharron bulaklak is. Wow. I love the sauce of the dinuguan. Blood jelly pork blood jelly. Alright, it sounds gross, but it's blood soup. And trust me, it's awesome. Like, it, it, um, it's garlicky, it's a bit sweet, there's some citrus in it, it's a bit sour, because it's really good. Especially Sarsa's version of it, which has chicharron bulaklak in it. I've never had before, I've never thought of it. It's an amazing concept. I love it. Shout out to James. James, this dish is freaking amazing, bro. Freaking amazing. Thanks for tuning in guys, that's our list of Filipino restaurants that you should check out when you're in Manila. Right, if you guys like that video, please hit that like button below and if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And don't forget to follow your boy on all the social media platforms. I will leave links in the description box below. All right, leave any comments of any favorite bits in this video, if you've got any suggestions for any future vlogs. Guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm about to leave Manila. All right, till then, peace, much love, I'm out.